So this next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to program some drums, how to edit the drums, and also how to add velocity. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose a drum patch. My drum patch is going to come out of a virtual instrument, so I'll go to Project, Add Track, and then Instrument. I'm going to choose a dry standard drum kit, just because it's easiest at the moment. Click OK. And eventually Cubase will set up a track for me. There we go. I'll rename it. Snare. There is a reason why I'm naming it snare and not drums. This is because we're going to program each separate part of the drum on its own track. It makes it easier then to edit it once we've done that, eventually adding fills and uh, clever stuff like that. So, we could just play it in like we did before with the bass by just using the keyboard. But what I'm going to do is actually program it in by drawing it. Now, drawing it in actually means that you have a little bit more control over it, although it might sound a bit more robotic. But for this beat, which is Billy Jean, it's actually quite a straight eight drum beat, so it will suit it quite well. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a box here, similar to the one the bass has. So I do that by grabbing the pencil tool and drawing a two bar box. You can make it four if you want to, but we can always copy it in a minute. So once you've drawn the box, there's no information in it. See with the bass it's got information in it, with this snare one it hasn't. So we need to put some information in it. We do that by double clicking on the empty box. A new window will come up that says Key Editor. Now, as you can see, it's slightly different to the to the one we were looking at before, the, where we were in the other editor before, which is called the Tracks Editor. It shows the keys here and the time going across. Now we need to find the the snare sound. Now the snare sound will probably be on D1. There we go. Now for a straight 8 beat, we need to put the beats on every 2 and 4. So here and here. To do that, we select the draw tool from the toolbox. Then draw on beat 2. So you can see that how the beats have been separated. The, the big numbers are the bar numbers. The smaller numbers are the beats. So as you can see here, this is bar 3, and that's beat 3 of bar 3. Bar 4, beat 3 of bar 4. So this is bar 5, which is the one we're starting on. And I want it on beat 2, and beat 4. And again, make sure that I'm getting it right, beat 2, beat 4. So that when it plays, the snare should be on beat 2 and 4. Simple. Right, then close this window. And we're going to hold down the Alt button and drag the snare across so you get it by itself. <laughs> because in the actual Billy Jean song, there's four bars of, uh, sorry, it's two bars of uh, drums first. Then we're going to add another track underneath this. We might, because we want to keep using the same sounds, the easiest way to do that is to do duplicate tracks. It means you get two snare tracks, as you will see. And all you do is get rid of this, because we've already got the snare, and then we'll rename the snare kick drum. Again, we need to draw the box. Double click on it and we'll program it, in, program it in. Now, the kick drum's normally on C1. And for an 8 beat, we need it on beats 1 and beats 3. Beats 1 and beats 3. It's a very simple beat. Here we go. There we go. Bit of Billy Jean. And we'll copy this one across as well. 
So it starts off. <laughs> Lastly, we're going to add some hi hats. So again, project duplicate tracks. It will add another track which is exactly the same output. We don't want the kick again, so we delete that, rename it hats, and using the draw tool, draw in the box, double click on it. Now the hats in an 8 beat are on every 8th beat. So the key here is to make sure that the quantize is on 8. And then you'll see when you enlarge the grid, there'll be 8 boxes in a bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we did 16s, watch what happens. Doubles up. At the moment we're using 8. And the hi-hats are normally on these two. So we're going to use the F-sharp here. And I'll play it. Now listen to this. So it sounds kind of good, but not amazing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the velocity. Now underneath, where you can see all the grid stuff, you might have a lane, maybe two lanes underneath it. At the moment I've got two set up, but you might only have one. Now one of these lanes will be velocity. It says velocity here. If it doesn't say velocity there, all you need to do is drop down the menu to and then click velocity. Velocity is how hard you hit something or whether it's dynamically loud or soft. So to make this sound a bit more like a drummer we're going to go loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft and you'll see the difference it makes to the groove. So if you listen to this as opposed to this this. So we can see it makes it just a bit more natural when it grooves like this. It's a really good trick to do with hi-hats. And the louder you go, the different sounds you get. I'm trying to keep them as uh, simple as possible. So then once you take it back, you'll see that when you press play and take the click off, you'll get the Billy Jean beat. That's how to edit drums and velocity.